Okay, since that's out of the way, let's get to the challenge. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. A cook-off challenge. It could be a breakfast, lunch, or dinner, dessert. This includes boiling, so if you just want to do ramen, do ramen. Ingredients can be prepped at home. Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on my channel, Steve the Transit Camper. I am off on a solo camp tonight, and I'm heading off to the hospital. I'm on my own, I haven't got Cat the dog, and I haven't got Mrs. Baby. Uh, Mrs. Baby's working, and I can't bring Cat the dog because this one is a bit stealthy, and I can't risk her barking, not that she ever does, but security often walk around the car park, and I don't want them to think there's a dog in the van and then have to raise awareness and get the dog out kind of thing. So I've decided to leave her at home and I'm gonna do this one on my own. I'm gonna dedicate this video to all the staff of the NHS, especially the paramedics and the technicians and the ambulance crews. Thank you for your service guys and girls, much appreciated. Right, let's get to the venue. So this video is going to be my November challenge, set by Squib. Uh, but we all know Squib's going to win anyway because he's amazing at cooking. But I am going to try and cook something up amazing. I'll let you know what that is once I get in the back. But I'm in the town at the minute and aiming for the hospital. So yeah, this is my November challenge. And if you can't do a stealth camp, just do something. Take part in the challenge, that's what's important. I have got a stealth camp coming up with my mate Paul, the MMA fighter. <laughs> but he's broken his ankle. He hasn't actually told me how he's done it. So that's gonna be uh, the following week, but we're gonna do a traffic island again, and that's gonna be difficult to cook anything amazing on this occasion because of the logistics of getting Paul to the venue. <laughs> right, I'll catch you in a minute once we get there. view of things. I think I've just gone in the no entry which wasn't very good. But we have got a good parking space here. So uh, I don't think we're going to get too brilliant a view on the front camera but I'm going to put a camera on the top see if we get a decent time lapse of overnight and we can see the ambulances coming in. Superb. Right. Let's get the camera on top and let's get in the back. That's the view. And we're in. This is our setup for those that haven't seen. Got the sink, all the kitchen stuff. Uh, underneath here, we've got the drainage, and right at the bottom, we've got the diesel heater. And in the back, we've got a table set up. Sorry. It's a bit dark, I haven't put the other lights on. iPad to watch a movie, seating, and then that backrest becomes the bottom of the bed. And that's us. It's gonna be a bit lonely on my own tonight. Let's get the iPad on and get that connected. 
So we're all connected and we've got a view at the front. I'm not going to do the back camera because there's just cars parked behind me, so no point seeing that. Right, that's us sorted. Right, it's absolutely freezing in here, so... Oh my God, let's get this on. So this is the Chinese heater. Time's wrong on that. As you know, I can't be bothered to set it. And then we'll get sorted. Oh, it's so cold. I changed my mind. I decided we'd have the right time for a change. <laughs> Superb. Let's get this on. So guys, while we wait for this to warm up, I'm just going to sit here because it's too cold. <laughs> it's really weird not having cat with me. Not sure I like it. And I hope I sleep. Right, let's have a look what we got. I haven't got a stealth Pepsi because I'm not a big fan of Pepsi. So I've got, got a Coke. Got a couple of shallots. A couple of cheeses. Some mushrooms, love me mushrooms. And then I've got some veg, which I have had to par partially boil because it takes ages to cook it in, it's too much condensation. So these are part boiled vegetables, which includes sweet peas, new potatoes, carrots, and what else is it? What else did I do? Oh, the orange thing, which I can't remember what it's called. It'll come to me in a minute. Sweet potato. Just nip in here. Also got some cream to make a nice high calorific sauce. And this has been inspired by the Maltese Falcon. And this is a ribeye which I don't normally have, but I thought, yeah, we'll have something different. And I hope I brought Dijon mustard. What did I do? Ah, oh, that's in the front. I'll just go and get that. There we have it, the Dijon mustard. So obviously it's gonna be steak and a few veg in a nice creamy sauce. Oh, it's freezing. I'm really moaning about it. Not a lot that you can actually see on that camera tonight, which is a bit annoying. There's so much condensation about and it's rained a little bit. It's not raining at the moment, so that's good. Right, let's start doing some cooking or some prep work. Sorry, it is going to be noisy this one with the diesel heater going. But I've been in this van. Let's have a look at the time. I have been in this van. for four minutes and I'm already hot. It's absolutely brilliant, these Chinese diesel heaters. Mine was 160 pound about three years ago, maybe, maybe two and a half, three. I see them now, you can get the complete kit with everything, 89 pounds, 99. It's just unbelievable. The original ones made by Urbaspacker, when I bought my first van, which I converted, that complete system cost 1,100 pound. And then the Chinese have copied them and they're absolutely amazing. Anyway, not gonna go on about that. Let's get some food prep done.
How noisy is that? I'm gonna have to get a lighter to be a bit more stealthy. stealth camp coming up uh, which is going to be me and my mate Paul and we're going to do a traffic island or something like that we're not too sure yet because he's broke his ankle he went to he's a coach for I think they're like uh, eight nine year olds football team or soccer as some of you guys would know it as he's a coach and uh, the ball was out on the six yard line so he thought he'd show off a bit ran at it stubbed his toe in the ground broke his ankle ball dribbled about five feet in front of him so he's a little bit embarrassed about that as you can imagine anyway i did text him and this is how that conversation went So fair play to you, Paul, coming along to do that uh, camp with me. That's going to be good fun. Oh, that's the first one. That would be an ambulance, I assume. So that's great. We are right by the hospital. Uh, has that cleared yet? It's cleared a little bit, that camera. So we'll have a look at that again in a minute. We have got the other camera, actually. Let's just show you a bit of that as well. Typically, it's now raining. Well, it's spitting, but it's enough to conceal the camera lenses, which is a bit annoying, but you have to put up with these things. I keep forgetting to be quiet because I like to talk quite loud to pick up the volume on my phone, but then I forget I'm stealth camping. Right, so that's the new potatoes, carrots and sweet potatoes in that pan. I'm going to warm them through. Like I said, I have pre-cooked them. I've cheated a little bit because I can't just boil things for half an hour in the van. But I think we should take this opportunity to uh, just mention uh, about camp like a boon. Uh, Raoul has had uh, a minor operation. He started his uh, gender reassignment operation. So uh, he has had... Uh, some parts removed and apparently they've used some of that to reconstruct parts of his nose which were a bit out of shape we've probably all noticed that so well done Boone it's a brave decision and uh, it's not an easy one but uh, go and have a look at his channel he's a stealth camper he's from Belgium but he's not boring uh, camp like a boon here we are frying up oh and that's another ambulance. So we've got them warming up. And now we'll just put these on to gently cook through. Let's turn that heating down. I'm not doing them in water. Just warming them through. No alcohol tonight. Too risky on the car park. So for the Stealth Camping Alliance, the Christmas challenge has been announced by Camp Like a Boon. 
and it uh, sounds fantastic. Kept, he's kept it nice and simple. Do something Christmassy. Do what you normally do around Christmas. So I will probably be doing a proper stealth camp for that. So I'll be either in the tent or in a hammock somewhere. Uh, I'll try and get Paul or Big Jace or somebody to come along on that one. So that'll be good fun. And it will be Christmassy. I've got a great plan, but I do need to I do need to do some final arrangements. And if it's at all possible, it's gonna be a good one. It really is. Uh, this one, it's a food one. And I'm not I'm not a cook. Uh, every time Squib does is just a basic camp, he produces this awesome food, which I can't compete with, I'll be honest with you. He does a really good job. Enjoying your video, Squib. He's another one to subscribe to. Those are pretty much warm through now, so we'll carry on with the sauce. That's back on. And then we'll do the steak once I've got a bit of sauce close to being ready. Dijon mustard. I know, I like a lot. And in goes the double cream. Always remember to lay the steak away from you. Mm, pan could have done with being a bit hotter there, but I'm hungry. I feel so bad about cat not coming that that piece up there with the fat on, that'll be for cat when I get home. That little bit on the end, I'll put that in a bag for her. I think I like my steak done the same as the Maltese Falcon. Nice bit of red in the middle. Probably about three minutes on each side. Just flip that over again. Just laid my cheese on top. And then I got cat separate and I'll take that for her tomorrow. She'll have that in the morning. I'll let the steak rest a bit. Veg are warm. We'll just finish this sauce off and then we're done. And there we have it, people. Mushrooms, garlic, and shallots in double cream, steak, bit of cheese on top, and some mixed veg, carrots, sweet potatoes. I can't remember what they're called, sweet peas. Lovely jubbly. Right, I'm gonna eat that. See you in a bit. Mmm, that steak is delicious. Superb. Who doesn't like Dijon mustard? Mm. It's fantastic. Terrible picture on there. I can't see the time, so I haven't got my glasses on. But I reckon it's heading towards nine. Superb. And the beauty of the van is, once I take this backrest off and put it over there, it would normally be this middle bit. And I leave the cooking table up, which is supported by that leg. I've now got a six foot six bed, single, this side and I think that'll be comfortable enough 845 I'm gonna go down on that heating I'm gonna set that to eight degrees because that's eight degrees inside the van and that'll do for me that'll be warm enough just get me blankets on still not a lot going on there I see the occasional cargo past and I've seen probably three ambulances go past, but of course they don't have their sirens on because they're in the hospital grounds. So uh, you just get the occasional one where you hear the siren, but they turn them off as soon as they come onto the site. So it's pretty good really. And not a lot of cars or anything either. 
can hear that rain, can you hear it? It's just been like that all night, just very quiet spitting, a little pitter patter on the roof. Right, I'm gonna have a play on my phone and then I'm gonna think about an early night really. I've left the wash until morning, time's kicking on now. And I am gonna relax and go to sleep. Or try and go to sleep. Eight minutes past 10. Right, let's have a lie down and see how we get on. Right guys, I'm gonna drift, hopefully. Put my podcast on, I love to listen to podcasts. Uh, what am I listening to at the moment? It's another murder case really about a woman who went missing. All real true crime, love all that. And uh, they've got a suspect at the moment. Uh, the lady, the lady vanishes, I think it's called, something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with some time lapse and I'll see you in the morning. Unless anything happens, of course. Good night all. can definitely say that was not a warm night <laughs> it's still cold now and the heater is still going and I should really get up and just turn it up a bit but I'm comfortable as I am I had to get a blanket and put it on top of my foot rest because that aluminium stays so cold and you could feel myself freezing from the feet up <laughs> take my glasses off so I, have, I haven't got any breakfast this morning uh, I got a few vegetables left but I don't fancy that so I'm not even gonna have a coffee I'm just gonna bail out and drive home and see cat and give her, her a little steak so I'll do all that Oh, I won't film that. I can't be bothered. <laughs> I might do. If I feel, if I do a filming when I get home, it'll be Cat eating her steak and loving it. Yeah, I ought to do that, really. But I'll say goodbye just in case. <laughs> right, I'm going to get up and uh, bail out of this hospital car park. Great little stealth. Really enjoyed it. But I wouldn't do it again on my own. Even when you're eating your food, it's boring because you've got no one to talk to. I, you know, I talk to Cat all the time. And I can say, oh, tasty. And she's there waiting. And she keeps me warm at night as well. When I'm stealth camping. So, not so good. Don't think I'll do it again solo. You never know, though. Catch you in a minute. Almost looks like a photo, but you can see people walking around, look.
hate it when it rains and it obscures the cameras. Are we going to get lucky and see an ambulance? Doesn't look like. No. Just a red car. That'll do. The second, the very second that I stopped recording that, an ambulance went past. No lights on, no sirens. It's still annoying. So as always, we know nothing about what's beyond this door. I think there is one car, that's all I heard. Let's get out, let's get home. Superb, lovely and bright morning. There it is, just a few ambulances left. Let's get ourselves home. Right then, oh, it's cold. It's always freezing in the mornings, isn't it? Right then, that was it from Steve the Transit Camper on his own. I really did miss Cat on this one. I don't think I'll do even the van on my own again, to be honest. I did sleep though, so that's not too bad. It made the night go quicker. I'm disappointed that inside the windows is very wet this morning, so it's gonna take a while to dry those out. But I did have the fan on, but obviously not on high enough. You have to have it quite high really, it's, it's, and then it gets a bit noisy, and then that can be heard from the outside. So if you're playing it stealth, you've got to put up with a bit of moisture. There's plenty of, I've got them gas dropouts in the floor. I've got the vent in the top. There's plenty of air movement, but just not enough when that diesel heat is running. I suppose it makes a lot of condensation. Anyway, this has been the Stealth Camp and Alliance Challenge set by Squib. I don't expect to win. <laughs> and I don't expect to be nominated, but I have taken part and that's what matters. You've been watching Steve the Transit Camper. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Take care. And not forgetting the gorgeous cat. There you go, girl. Sorry I couldn't take you, but I'm forgiven. Never eats at the bowl, always has to take one out and walk off. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm off to bed. <laughs> Take care.